Welcome to Pull Addiction, where I like to do pull and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pull and billiards related for that matter. And I've been thinking, is there a way to get the new advancements in the billiard equipment industry to become more affordable and accessible to the entry level pool player? And today I can say, well, maybe. What I'm saying, talking about is a budget friendly cue company that's trying to make a big splash in the US market, and that's J Flowers. But real quick, before we get too far into this video, full disclosure, J Flowers sent me this cue for review. However, I have complete free reign on the honest review, and they did not pay me for this review. So who is J Flowers? Well, they're a company out of China, and I heard about them several years ago, but it wasn't for their cues. It was for their leather cue cases. And these leather cue cases was what they were originally really popular for. And now they decided to jump headfirst trying to make a huge splash in the American pool market with their Q lineup. They've made an aggressive strategic business decision to debut a lineup of cues that will not only give you the ability to own a Q for $300, but one with a carbon fiber shaft as well. And if you'd rather not have that carbon fiber shaft, you can always opt for the low deflection wood shaft instead of the carbon fiber. But where's the fun in that when you can have an entire queue that's $300 with a carbon fiber shaft that is $200 less than a Predator Revo shaft? Now they don't just offer $300 queues, they also have models that can go all the way up to $3,000. So this is my part one video of the up close details of the queue with all the specs and everything, followed by my first playing impressions. In the part two video of the review, I will be doing all the in-depth testings that I normally do. So let's just get over to the table and get a closer look at this cue and see what it's all about. So this is the J Flowers cue that was sent to me. It came in a box with this plastic wrap. Looking here on this label, it gives us the model number, which is the JF1013WF, as well as the overall weight. And it also gives us the uh, tip diameter size, as well as the weights of both the shaft and butt individually. So we'll have to see how that stacks up here in a little bit when we do our measurements. It comes in this case, it's a nice velvet soft case. And this is what Predator Qs used to come in all the time back in the day. They change up the materials uh, from what they make their soft cases out of now. But this is the way they looked when you got a Predator Q case. They have a nice embroidered J Flowers Qs here up on the tab. And there's something here in the pocket and it is a certificate of authenticity. And the certificate of authenticity gives us, again, the model number, the serial number, as well as the date it was made, the tip diameter size, the length of the butt and weight, as well as the shaft length and weight. So it's supposed to be 29 inches, 15.4 ounces for the butt, and 29 inches and 3.7 ounces for the shaft with a 12.5 millimeter tip. So let's see how that stacks up here in a minute after we get a good look at it. So opening this up, we have our cue. First, I want to look at this Q butt and see what it looks like. Now, this is a really nice Q butt. It, it, it is painted black maple and not ebony. And what appears to be inlays aren't actually inlays, they're decals. Now, you're typically not going to get a Q for $300 with this kind of inlay work. But I will say this these decals look really, really nice. Some of the nice decaling on a budget friendly Q that I've ever seen. It also comes with this white lizard uh, wrap. You can also get a black lizard or you can get it wrapless, either one you, you'd like to do. You also have a joint protector here. And the joint protector actually has the initials of J Flowers on there, so that's pretty nice. And looking at our joint, we have a what they call a 3 8 by 8, which a 3 8 by 8 joint is essentially a, a radial joint. Now you can also get a 3 8 by 11 uh, joint, so you do have options there as well. So pretty good options, especially for a $300 cube. Now let's take a look at the carbon fiber shaft. Looking at this, it has, looks like a really nice matte black finish. The tip is a Mori medium tip, and that's the standard tip they put on these cues. Um, and Mori tips are pretty nice. I used to play with them a lot back in the day. It also has the J Flowers embossed logo there. So again, pretty nice. You got the joint protector with the J flowers as well. So, and it also has these little stickers here that gives us the diameter size and, the, and, and everything of the tip, which we all take off here when we start playing around with it. So 
there is the J Flowers Q when you kind of look at it up front. And um, let's take a look at the weight and the tip size as well as the links to see how accurate the certificate of authenticity is based off of what they sent me. So I got my weight scale here. And starting off with the butt, we are at 15.445 ounces, which our, our uh, certificate of authenticity tells us is 15.4 ounces. So we're really, really close on the weight of the Q butt based off of what they said they sent me. Looking at the carbon fiber shaft, we are at 3.691 ounces and it should be 3.7. So again, really, really close to what they, they said they sent me. Taking a look at the tip sizes, our tip is, looks like 12, let me, 12.53 millimeters, which now that I got my new camera set up and everything, I can actually do this the correct way. So we're at 12.53 millimeters. One thing I want to look at on the butt is the how wide the butt is, because not all cues are made the same. Some are a little wider than others. My nitty is a little bit wider butt than the Predator cue that I have. And the Predator cue is pretty skinny and I don't really care for it too much. So I'm kind of Curious to see, if I had to guess, this is gonna be very similar to my Predator. And we're at 1.257. I don't know if you guys can see that. Which is very close to what my Predator butt is. But it's not a huge deal, it's just, it's a comfort level kind of thing. But, um, but that's it. Let's take a look at the lengths on these to see if they're accurately at 29 inches. So looking at our shaft, if you take the tip into account, we're slightly over 29 inches, but typically we look at just below the tip, uh, the Q-tip itself, and we're right at 29 inches. So that is right on par with what I should have. Looking at the pro style taper, it looks like the taper stops our starts uh, it ends right about 14 and a half inches. So nice pro style taper. Looking at the length of the butt, measuring from the joint collar to the end of the Q butt, not the bumper, we're right at 29 inches. So we don't measure the pin because it goes inside the Q, it doesn't account for the length, and the, the rubber bumper uh, on the bottom doesn't typically get added to the measurements since it doesn't really do anything for you. So these, that's all the detailed specs of this cue, screwing it together, it doesn't have a whole lot of wobble as you're screwing it together, which is really good. It means it's a nice tight fit. And looking at this, we're looking at a really nice cue. And it looks like it rolls pretty straight and true. We'll see what the, the details are uh, later on uh, in the part two video. But that is the J Flowers cue. What do y'all think? Pretty nice for $300, right? But it doesn't mean anything unless it plays decent as well. At least plays like a $300 cue. But I'm hoping with a carbon fiber shaft, eh, maybe it'll play a little bit better. Let's find out.
So I'm trying an old angle here I used to use when giving my thoughts. And I'm not sure if I really like the framing of this shot, but at least it's easier to show off the cue when I'm giving my first impressions. Anyways, here are my first impressions. Playing with this cue is really nice. It feels comfortable and the hit is really, really good. And the hit sound was really nice too. There's no tink type of noise like you get from a lot of carbon fiber shafts that are out there on the market. And I also like the fact that they're using a good quality tip in a Mori tip. You don't normally find that in a budget friendly type of cue, but in this one you do. I didn't really have any balance issues with the, with the cue, but I will say this, it definitely felt a little butt bias balanced. <laughs> wow, well, try to say that three times fast. But it, it also plays very similar to a Predator Q. And like I said in the beginning of this video, Predator butts for me are a little skinnier than I, what I prefer. But if you like Predator, the Predator Dimensions, then you won't be disappointed in the way this cue feels on the hands. Also, the, the weight of this was a little light for my taste too, but that easily can be changed by changing out the weight bolt in the back. Now, Jade Flowers does have a weight bolt kit out there on the market, and it comes with a 0.2, a 0.4, a 0.5, and a 1.1 ounce uh, uh, weight bolt. And you can find them for about $40 out there on the market. And I did find one on Alibaba for about $20. But as far as I could tell, these look like a pretty standard type of weight bolt. So you may be able to find a specific one at a cheaper price, but don't quote me on that. I'll place some links in the description below for any of the weight bolts in, in case you decide to get this cue and you need to change out the weight. Now let's talk about the shaft's uh, finish. It's really nice and smooth, and it doesn't have really much of an audible, if any, audible noise when stroking through your bridge hand. Now let's talk about the wrap though. The wrap is a little slick, and, but it does have a, a texture type of grip, so you can keep a good grip on it anyways. My problem is I tend to grip, grip a little uh, loose, and that coupled with the fact that I like a little bit thicker diameter cue butt meant that sometimes on occasion, this would ever so slightly move in my hands when shooting. I know a lot of you won't have this problem, and again, if you like Predator cues, you will be just fine with this. So the joint, uh, the joint is really nice. It had a nice snug fit and never came loose on me and the feedback throughout the queue was really, really good. All in all, I'm really impressed so far with what I see in this queue, especially at this price point. Now you might find a couple cues out there with a little bit of inlays or a little bit more of a special wood in this price range. But in my opinion, I highly doubt you'll find one that plays this well and definitely you're not gonna find one that has a carbon fiber shaft. So that's my part one of the J Flowers Q review and it's the bottle JF10-13WF-8Q. Man, that's a mouthful. It's a budget-friendly Q that gets you in the carbon fiber shaft world at $300. And in my opinion, these Qs aren't gonna last at this price for very long. So take advantage of it when you can. All the links will be in the description below if you wanna check out the J Flowers Qs and all the ones that they have available on their site. The links are non-affiliated, which means I don't have any financial gain by promoting these products. For those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I will be putting out a part two video on this queue where I go through all the in-depth testing. If you don't know what type of testing I do, I'll put a link somewhere up here of another video and you can check out all the testing that I do. As always, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And also hit the notification bell so you know whenever a new video drops. Okay, so that's really it. So God bless and see y'all in the next one.